she's, she's just getting pushed into the wall. Ah, my god, oh, ah, oh my, oh my god, this little sh So, I'm gonna assume you guys have already played Monster Hunter. I mean, come on, what is more satisfying than battling fire-breeding wyverns, bloodthirsty chickens, more bloodthirsty chickens, and a pretty cute and fat raccoon? <laughs> If you haven't, well, what are you waiting for? Now you can with Monster Hunter Rise. So here, we will take a look at the fan favorite monster hunting series that is recently released on the PC port. Keep in mind, what we'll be touching on will be mostly the surface of what we experience, know and understanding. This is not a full technical deep dive review because that would take weeks and who knows when I will see the sun. Like sunbreak, get it? <laughs> uh... Monster Hunter Rise, the sixth main entry game to the popular Monster Hunter series, and God knows how many other spin off games with it. It's a series so good that it became the pillar for the other hunting games. It even has its own film. Except for those, we usually just pretend it doesn't exist. It was initially released for the Switch platform, but Capcom has finally was able to port it to the PC Master Race with the upcoming expansion Sunbreak somewhere mid of 2022. So for this video, we'll be joining the hunt on the PC version of the Monster Hunter Rise. Whether if it's worth the wait for that lovely 144 FPS gameplay and other RTX stuff that comes along with it. And let's not forget about modding. You know what I'm talking about, you naughty boys and girls. Ooh, chestnuts. Rise, have you take on the role of a newly appointed hunter of Kamura Village. You are being tasked into investigating a mysterious disaster known as the Rampage, where a large group of monsters decide to go on a childish tantrum over something, and is responsible for the near destruction of Kamura 50 years ago. So, with your freshly graduate determination, friendly pet buddies, and fresh dango in hand, you will take on monsters bigger than your ego, gather your resources, and turn their weapon against them. Oh, he got down. <laughs> so, what do you do in Monster Hunter Rise? That's a rhetorical question, please do not answer that. You hunt monsters. Then, you rip and tear materials from your hunt and forge it into a new equipment for your hunter. Then you do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again, good lord, was that all I've been doing? You choose your missions from the quest giver, with village and hub missions being separated as single player and multiplayer missions respectively. During the hunt, Rise uses the same open world style map similar to War, which allows hunters to roam the landscape more freely instead of the zone style that was done in the previous installment, eliminating the need to load each areas. And it's pretty cool because this gives a breath of life to the environment and the monsters. Rampage missions however put you in tower defense mission area where you fight against the onslaughts of monsters while defending your objective. Here, you'll be able to construct variety of buildings that will help you in defending the gate as well as summoning NPC allies that can turn the tides of battle. New to the game is the wire bug, which technically speaking is the clutch claw. It's not just a tool for traversing the environment but for combat as well. Well, you don't get the launcher mechanic from War, the wire bug instead allows you to use combat abilities with your chosen weapons, silk buying attacks. This gives you more firepower and movement options and such a godsend mechanic for those weapons that are built with limited mobility. Look at that sweet, sweet great sword move. But the best part of the wire bug is the ability to mount monsters. That's right, you can, for a limited time, finally take control of a Radiant and make it duke it out with the other monsters. Go my loyal steed, onward to victory! Speaking of monsters, Rise introduced new generations of monsters with the return of some of the OBs from the previous generations, ready to roll into you. This also means you'll be carefully be dealing with the unknown behaviors and attack patterns from the new generation that may f*** your shit up and have you go home crying like a little dog. Then again, with the new monsters comes with new weapon and armor set that will help you with your survival, in which you probably would love nothing but to take revenge on your unaware adversary. Wakey wakey! Next, you want to arm yourself with those oversized deluxe edition. Rice retains its 14 weapon type loadout for you to choose from as your favorite, each with its own learning curve, strength and weaknesses, unique weapon designs, and the ability to do damage while looking cool. My personal favorite is the switch axe and the longsword because I'm a fairly offensive guy. Do comment down below on what's your weapon of choice and why it's not the longsword. But mastering the weapon on its own is not enough. No, you need help. 
And no, not talking about your hunter friends who will constantly throw you with their massive unga bunga attacks. Can you stop? <laughs> I'm not, I can't trip you, I'm a daggers. <laughs> I'm talking about your pet companion. Your helper buddy cat, Palico, like the older games, will do their best to assist you in a hunt with items and gathering materials. While new to Rise is your secondary helper buddy and the Gutuso boy, Palumu. Their role in the game is to help you traverse the land quicker without losing stamina while performing attack combos with you in the fight. And to look really cute and cuddly, where the tick is that Sonic? If you think you need more of those adorable critters, you can always hire more and even send them out on expedition and trades. And I hope you haven't run out of names to give because last but not least, you will get your own pet owl, the Kahoo! This fluffy fur boss acts as your scout and messenger like the one you see in Hogwarts. In fact, it might be too good at its job that you no longer need to track down monsters as they now immediately show it to you on your map. <laughs> Alright, here comes the part you probably will throw feces at me and call me a <laughs> Although I really enjoyed the game, I do have some minor complaints on my own. Firstly, the lack of environmental interactive. In Monster Hunter World, there are traps and hazards that you can use to your advantage during your hunt, like dropping a border on your prey or steering it to a vine tree where you'll entangle the monsters a while while you wail on it. Sadly, in Rise, while there is actually one or two you can use, it's mostly gone due to the game trying to go back to old school hunting while retaining its quality of life. It's not really a big deal, but I kind of miss smashing monsters into tree, seeing it fall on it, and then just casually throw insults at it. No sucks in Second, the Apex Monsters. They are essentially the tempered version of Monster Hunter Rise, power up with malicious aura that can really put danger in your face. Unlike the Tempered or the Arch Tempered, this Apex cannot be captured nor can you Viren ride it, meaning you have to give it a good old fashioned beatdown or get beaten up. One more. Ah, yep. Each Apex monster initially can be encountered during the rampage, however, once you have completed it, it can be chosen as a normal hunt mission. Now, here lies the problem that I have. Apex monsters drop the same materials as the normal version, with at least one Apex material, but that new material is only used to make rampage weapons on each tier, not even new armor. In fact, you don't even get to make the better version of the armor type like Gamma or something. Other than for stronger challenges or the rampage weapons, I don't really see the point of hunting Apex monsters when I can get the same materials dropped from the normal one. In fact, if I'm going to farm them, I might as well do the rampage missions which is easier to farm due to how much damage you can cause than hunting them in normal mission when half the time I'll be just running for my life. You have an agitator or something Rex? So I, I have no clue honestly at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this nice or not? Yes! Monster Hunter Rise for us is a worthy successor of its title, and being on PC is a huge plus. Not only it improved a lot from its predecessor, but it is a hell of a lot of fun, and you get to pet the dog, the cat, or the owl. Hoo hoo, mother <coughs> Whether you like to test your might against the ferocious monster of the wild, fulfill your swan duty to your hometown, don on a variety of awesome looking armors, enjoy the breathtaking world of nature, or just want to hang out with your friends, you are ready to rise up and answer the call of the hunt. Monster Hunter Rise is now available on the Switch and PC. Do let us know in the comment down below on what you think about Monster Hunter Rise. Until then, we'll see you next time. Now, do excuse me because I got a Elder Dragon to hunt. <laughs>